Aries, welcome to Soul Vibin. Back with another tarot reading here for you. Aries, we're going to go ahead and get started um, into July 2021. We're going to see what's coming up for you this week. All right, or what you need to hear, what advice you need to hear from God, your spirit guides, your angels. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. We're going to start off with Oracle cards first. Aries, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, Venus, North, Know It All, Aries, Placements, of course. Remember to watch all your signs to get a full picture of what's going on as well. So let's go ahead and see what's up, Aries. What's Aries going through at this moment? So here we get, um, you're standing in your power, a fiery climax approaches. You may be having a lot of energy or maybe even a lot of anger. Um, there just seems to be a lot of energy around you here with the fiery climax approaches. And expect a powerful change. Very powerful uh, reading, I feel, coming up ahead. You may be going through a lot or you may just be trying to regain your confidence or maybe there's just a, a Leo around you. Whatever the case is for you, Aries, I feel like... Um, there's something changing within your mental or there's something changing within yourself um, that's going to make you feel a lot better, okay? Believe in the impossible. So if you've been going through something difficult, I definitely feel like that's going to start to change for you very soon here. So let's see. Let's see what other messages we get from the Oracle cards here. This is the Hev Heavenly Bodies Astrology deck, just in case you were wondering. And the box looks like that, okay? So Aries, what's going on with Aries at this moment in time? What does Aries need to know? Messages from God, spirit guides, archangels, okay, highest vibrational energy only. So let's see what's up. What does Aries need to know? Aries, so here we get mutable, surrender, fluidity, welcoming change. So whatever's happening for you, okay? whatever is happening for you or will happen for you um you'll know when this is coming or when it's here or if it's here or not but when it does happen god your angel spirit guides are asking you to go with the flow of this change and welcome it into your life um as best and as fluid as you can okay so stay in the flow of it if people come people go stay in the flow of it um don't resist anything at this time um, especially now with everything happening um, around the world and even astrologically, okay, as above, so below. Um, definitely feel like there's just a lot of changes happening for all of us as a collective. So try to go um, try to go with the flow and try not to resist too much. But let's get one more card for you, Aries. So Aries, you get think, learn, network, and communicate. For some of you, you may work in communication or you may have to communicate or some of you just need to communicate with your guides or someone around you that can help you out. Take that however it resonates for sure. Okay. How six is probably being um, affected more at this point in time, establishing a foundation, health, daily life, and practice practical details so Aries this is telling me is that you know if there was a foundation that wasn't really set in stone or things were kind of shaky I definitely feel like that can be changing for you very soon here okay so be prepared and stay grounded let's pull out some tarot cards for you what is tarot what is tarot <laughs> What is Aries coming into? What's going on with Aries? I want to know present energy as well as um, uh, up, soon upcoming energy. So like future, near future, I guess. Aries for Aries, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, and Venus. What does Aries need to know at this moment in time? Aries. So here we got the high priestess. Okay, so this is telling me your intuition is already telling you something. All right. Um, the high priestess can be seen as someone who's very knowledgeable or someone who just knows a lot but kind of keeps to themselves or just follows their intuition, of course. So this can be you. You may be already intuitively tapped into something here. So this can be someone, all right, with the emperor and the knight of wands. This can be a, either a mature, older person, a boss, or it can be literally God. You may be uh, talking to God or you may be coming in contact with an emperor here. The emperor can be a boss, like I said, or it can be God literally talking to you, uh, telling you to take some sort of action because the emperor does represent you. So I don't know if you've been thinking about taking action towards something or to doing something or you've been wanting to start something new, but this is definitely your angels and God telling you that, yes, go for it. Okay. Go for whatever it is that you've been trying to go for. 
Now keep in mind that this is a general reading. Claim what you want and claim what you don't want. But with the Emperor card here and the Knight of Wands, this is definitely you taking action towards um, a better future, I definitely feel like as well with the High Priestess here. So let's see. Whatever it is that you do decide to take action towards, as soon as you decide to take action towards it, there's going to be a beautiful alignment and things are going to go um, a lot smoother. So I don't know, this can be anything, you guys. Follow your own intuition with this, with that high priestess here. Everybody is going through a different thing. This can be literally starting a new job, quitting your job, um, doing something that you're kind of being told to do. It's kind of been maybe bothering you. You've kind of been like in your head about it maybe, or you've been wanting to like do something different with your life this is the kind of vibe i'm getting it's like there there's a change that you've been wanting to do or that you're trying to do let's see the four of swords okay so for some of you this is like literally taking a break taking a break from whatever it is from whoever it is this can also be you know getting more sleep resting or being in a, a, a resting state or meditating as well with the four of swords here let's see yeah, see, there it is, judgment. So it's almost like a, like you're getting a wake up call. So for some of you, maybe you're waking up at night, but this wake up call, um, this is God trying to wake you up to something. All right, some of you are going through a spiritual awakening. I feel like um, this may be a little bit uneasy for you, or you're going into another step in spirituality if it is that you've already been um, on that road. Okay, so Aries, let's see what's up. What else? Yeah, the Hermit. So yeah, like a spiritual awakening. Okay, um, you you're gonna need more rest, or you're spir you're receiving spiritual downloads in your resting state or in your meditative state um, as well. With the Hermit card here, um, the Hermit card. To me, it is a sign of, you know, just spending time by yourself and disconnecting from social media uh, as well. Maybe this is what you need. Maybe your intuition has been telling you, hey, I need to disconnect from social media for a few days, even a few hours at the least. Um, but the Hermit card and the Four of Swords, this is disconnecting from social media, okay? Your intuition has been telling you this for a while. This is guidance from above is what I'm getting. So for some of you, you need to connect with children more or your child, okay, with the Six of Cups here. All right, your family, yeah, I, I, that card wanted to come out. So. <laughs> so it's like you need to spend more time with family or with your loved ones. Okay, yeah, look, there we go. A page of wands this is a child. Um, one of your childs may be um, stressed out about something is what I'm getting for some of you. Um, if this is not the case... Um, maybe this can be your inner child since the page of wands has shown up here. Follow your own intuition with this. Um, so you may have been dealing with some issues or some childhood issues or you may have dealt with some childhood issues that you're stressed about or you're worried about. Okay. I feel like um, your inner child may need healing. That can be one thing for some of you. For those of you, this is a literal child. Um, the eight of cups. Okay. So you're soon going to walk into this uh, spiritual awakening is what I'm getting. Okay. You're going to be receiving a call or there's going to, something's going to happen in your surrounding that's going to call you to do something, to walk away from something, to, to go somewhere or to just spend time alone or search for something that's a lot more fulfilling. <laughs> All right. That's what I'm getting. It's like, you're going to have to spend more time doing things that, you know, set your heart on fire that you love doing. And that can be spending time away from social media because the nine of swords can associate you being really attached to social media okay it's like you wake up you wake up and you're on social media you wake up and you're on your phone you wake up and you start like with your busy busy life and then this is what gives you a lot of anxiety Aries nine of wands yeah very busy all right very busy and and there's also some resistance to this okay um, like I said the more you go with the flow the easier for some of you you have a child you have a child that may that may be experiencing some nightmares at night as well okay may need more rest um or you have a child who's very um very intuitive is what i'm getting very intuitive or very uh what's it called very like he's very wise for his age or she is or you've always been since you were a kid. Whatever the case is, um, if you've been feeling like you need more protection, then maybe you need to search for um, a little bit more peace and clarity by just, you know, spending time by yourself away from social media and connecting with God or your spirit guides. You know, asking God to um, 
just talking to God, man. Sometimes that, that can do a lot. The hanging one, yeah. So the hanging one to me is a state of um, finding the answers that you need. Finding the answers you need. So um, talk to God if you need any kind of answers or something like that is what I'm getting, okay? So let's go ahead and move to more oracle cards here. Oracle card for Aries. So here we go. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking it. Keep facing your true north. So if, there, if there's been something that's been bothering you, like you don't know if you're on the right path or you don't know if you're, you're like, it's like you're overthinking something that you're already doing. You're like this beautiful spiritual teacher. Your intuition is so on point. You're, you're doing what you can do. But what I'm getting is like, you need a break from social media. And sometimes it's what we need. You know, we need a break. We need to disconnect. Um, because what causes these mental issues, these health issues, is not getting enough rest and um, not spending enough alone time. So I definitely see someone who's going to be spending some alone time here, All right, Protect your energy. Definitely, you know, do the saging thing. Do your, you know, carry your crystals around. Um, you've learned from your lessons. So you, so basically what's, what's going on here with the hang one, it's almost like you're waiting for the perfect moment or you're waiting for something or you have your guard up because you're waiting like something's gonna happen or you're waiting so so don't don't hang around too long in this energy is what i'm getting okay just like do a lot of self-care self-love all right so yeah look at that back of the deck energy protection call back your power cut back the cords and soul retrieval so definitely protect your energy okay you maybe have you may have to me the the hermit card is also a ghost okay but the energy where it resonates, you may have a ghost or a spirit attached to you. Um, this isn't like to scare you guys or anything, but maybe this is what's stressing you out or waking up. Like there's there's some a ghost or something, um, something that's been bothering you guys, and and it's maybe why you guys can't sleep. Okay, all right. So that's not to freak anyone out. <laughs> Let's go ahead and keep going. Let's see the goddess that's guiding you at this moment in time, Aries. The goddess that's guiding Aries. What is up with the goddess that's guiding Aries? The page of wands can also, can also be someone who's in between like, like under 18, you guys. So it doesn't have to be literally a child. This can be you or this can be someone around you who's under 18. The joy permitted mother. I am my own guru. I know the self that never changes. So it's almost like telling you like you've you've mastered something. Okay, you're very wise, you've mastered something. And for your age, it's like you've mastered something that maybe a lot of people don't master because I, I see a lot of self like a lot of alone cards. So it's almost like you've always for some of you you've mastered something by yourself or you've done something where you've leveled up, where you have um found your peace of clear or peace of mind or you're finding your peace of mind or you're searching for the answers for some of you yes you're like in the void okay um if you're in a spiritual journey if you're on a spiritual journey and you do tarot you should know that these are the 21 faces of god right all the major arcana cards are the 21 faces of god right so you have three faces of god here so it's almost like you're facing you're facing having to follow your own intuition but in order to do so you're gonna have to spend time by yourself and then you're entering this void okay which is the period of time before you actually find some enlightenment or go into your life's purpose all right very beautiful so let's go ahead and end your reading there aries thank you so much for tuning into this reading today i really hope you guys found this useful um remember to like and subscribe to my channel share if you would like and check the other signs to get a full picture of what's going on around you um i'm sending you nothing but love i will see you guys next time bye for now